All right, so this is the troubleshooting steps for this uh, boss ditch pencil sharpener. Uh, usually what you're gonna get is it's gonna slow down or it's gonna wanna turn a few times and it stops when you're trying to sharpen a pencil. Uh, so you need to first off, you take the tray out and then you reach up underneath. There's a little red button and there. You might be able to see it right there. You're gonna take this, you're gonna take your fingers, grab onto that, pinch it, and you're gonna lift up and out. And you'll notice that there's two little pins here that's a safety interlock so that if there's not an electrical contact made over there with this off, it's not gonna spin. So, but you wanna unplug it anyway. So we're unplugged, we've got the face off. Now you see, here's the actual cutter head. It's really difficult to see. You can see these arrows that says turn to remove. So there's some little keyed locks in there. You just wanna twist it clockwise and it'll pop right out. And you can see there's those those tabs that interlocked in that inside the, uh, the the housing there. All right, so you can see this is the cutter head. Um, at this point, if you've got a spare cutter head, just swap it out, stick the new one back in. I'll show you how to do that uh, in just a minute. And but that'll get you going again until you can kind of take a little bit of time to take this apart and figure out what's going on. Um, to get this apart, you're going to need a small Phillips head jeweler screwdriver and you'll see there's two screws one there and one there we're just going to back those out really easy take one take the second don't lose the screws all right once you got the screws out you can take this housing cover off Put that aside, note that the way it goes back in is with this part down inside the barrel. It won't go back in any other way, but just save yourself some time. All right, so now that you got that off, the cutter head, what you need to do is you slide it, careful, because it could be sharp, so don't grab onto the, the worm drive part. That's the cutter head. Grab on, go up, and that'll free the bottom to come out, and now that's apart. Put that aside. There's a little bushing here on the bottom that likes to fall off. It'll only go on one way, but I just, just take it off for now so it doesn't come falling off while you're doing your work. All right, let's get a little adjustment here. Okay, so now we were using a Phillips head. Now we need to get our flat head. And you'll see in this cutter head, you know, there might be some junk in here, but there's a little metal tab here. When it's jammed up, you get this out, this thing won't move. It'll be, it'll be locked up tight right now. I can freely move this, but when there's a pencil lead stuck in there, this will be stuck. And then the several that I've taken apart to fix, there's been a pencil lead broken off, stuck in there, and this will be jammed up tight. All you gotta do, take your flathead screwdriver and just slide that down. It might have a little bit of resistance with the lead in there. Slide it down, and then usually you'll see the little piece of lead broken off will just fall out. So you're gonna wanna shake a little piece of lead out when you're finally sure that it's gone, hopefully it came out or someplace you can see it. Now you'll get this piece. will flop back and forth. You can hear it doing that. Okay, so now you're free. Time to put it back together again. All right. So remember, don't forget your bushing. Take a cut ahead with the metal part like this down. And you'll tell because there's one end has a small hole, one hand has the big hole. You're going to want to insert it so it goes in. And that gives you some room. Now hold on to that. Put your bushing over the end of that barrel there. And you kind of got to hold this stuff all together while you slide it back down into the channel. And so once it's in there, now that's going to be loose. You're going to take your cap. You're going to put it in over the cutter head assembly. Make sure it goes all the way down. You might have to twist it a little bit to get the teeth to engage because there's a little spline inside that cap. All right, so then line it up so you can see daylight through the holes where the screws are gonna go. You can see that. And it's just a matter of taking your Phillips head screwdriver again, put one screw in just a little bit. Get your second screw in. If you can get it to go. It's gonna give me some trouble. 
If it doesn't want to go in, just loosen the other screw up just a little bit because what happens if you tighten those unevenly, you'll throw the whole thing out of uh, balance. And you'll make the holes become unaligned, misaligned. All right, there we go. So now we can screw that one in. Don't go all the way tight. Kind of switch back and forth until they're all the way down to the bottom where they're snug. There we go. You don't want to crank them too tight because you'll just strip the plastic out. All right, so kind of visual inspection. Everything looks like it's in there. It spins. Don't want to grab that too tight. Cut yourself. So it spins. All right, so now we're going to put it back in the housing. You'll see there's the hole in for the pencil, and then there's this geared end for the motor. That This gear end is what's going to go into the housing. It's going to be probably too dark to see, but you'll see. Remember, there's those three tabs. One, two, three. You'll see there's a pattern inside that these look like they're, it's more like a triangle lobe. They're not evenly spaced, so there's two that are closer together. Find the spot inside the housing. Where there's two close together, they're at the top. So you're gonna line those up. Let's see what I'm doing here. Line those up, push down, and now you're gonna turn counterclockwise to get those tabs to engage. And once it stops, it's in there. All right, now we gotta put our uh, front panel on again. So opposite is how you took it off. You're gonna squeeze that red tab, take this top tab, and you're gonna hook it into the top of the housing here. There's a little slot in there. So you're gonna to to go in deep like that. And once, rotate the panel back down flat, kind of give it a tap, make sure everything's on there real good. Slide your tray back in. Plug it in. And we'll give it a test. Yep, so nice sharp pencil. Let's test it. I'm gonna break that tip off. Now we got a dull pencil. Let's stick it in. There we go. It stops when it's sharp. Like that. Good to go. All done.